Hi children, today let's do something different. You like to tell where the things are, yes? Where did you see an aeroplane or a bird or a little squirrel or a little mouse, yes? We are going to look at spatial relationship. Is the bird on the tree or is it down under something? Where is the item you seen? Spatial relationship, up, down, front, back, whatever. You should be able to say where exactly using certain words. Yes? Now, so let's look at our first picture and you see for yourself. Learn for yourself. Okay? What are we learning? Spatial relationship. Good. Here we are. Look what you see. We are going to do first up, down. What is the special relationship between up and down? Where is What is up? The sky is up. What is down? The little child is down. Up, down. So we are going to look at things and say, where is that item? Is it up or down? Or down or up? Look. Let's look at the first picture. Up, down. Now look. When you come down the stairway, if somebody is standing on the top and there is somebody at the bottom of the stairs, what will you say? Up. Mary is standing right on the top of the stairs or escalator, whatever. And here you have little Anne down. She has reached the bottom of the stairway. Okay? Okay, that's it. So Mary is on the top. She's up. Anne is down, up, down. She is up, I am down. I come down first. She just started, up, down. So you should be able to say, are you going to stop, stand on top of the stairway? Or are you going to stand at the bottom of the stairway? Where would you like to stand, up or down? Good. Let's look at our next picture and learn the spatial relationship. Good. Next, on, under. What the next one? On, under. Yes? Good. Let's look at the picture. Where is the globe? It's on the table. On. Where is the ball? Under the table. On the table. Under the table. On, under. The relationship between the item that's on the table the thing, the item that is under, on, under. Where is the ball? The ball is under the table. Where is the globe? The glo globe is placed on the table. Good. Let's look at the next exercise. Just see for ourselves. We are going to talk about above and below. Above and below. What is above? What is below? Let's look at the picture and learn. The difference above, below. What is above the tree? There's a little bird. What is below? There's a little mouse below. Or there's a little mouse under the tree in the ground over there. Above. What flies above the tree? A birdie flies above the tree. What goes into the hole? A little mouse is here below. It's almost going into the hole. Below. Above is the bird, below is the mouse. Good. Let's look at the next. Next we are going to talk about over, under. The relationship between over and under. Look at the picture carefully and learn for yourself. Over, under. Good. Now, over. What is going over the bridge? A train. And what is under? There are, there is a road under and there are vehicles going under the bridge. Over the bridge goes the train. Under the bridge goes the vehicles and the people. Over, under. Yes? Good. Let's look at another. 
Let's look at this spatial relationship between the top and the bottom. Top and the bottom. Good. Look at the picture and let's learn top. What is on the top? On the locked. What is at the top of the cupboard? You find all the boxes lined up at the bottom. What do you have here? At the bottom, you have all the shoe rack, slippers are all placed here. On the top, you store away all the things, top of the cupboard. What you do not need to use daily at the bottom, you will find boxes and racks, shoe rack that you need to use daily. Top, bottom. What's on the top? What's at the bottom? Good. Shall we look at another exercise? See what are we going to do? We are going to see the difference between the inside and outside. Inside and outside. What's inside the room? What's outside the room? Whatever. Look at this. There's a bowl of fruits on the table. Okay? Now, what is inside the bowl? All the fruits are placed. What is outside? Some fruits have fallen outside. Okay? Some berries and cherry has fallen outside the bowl. Inside the bowl you have fruits all arranged. Outside some seeds and some cherries have fallen outside the bowl. Inside, outside. Alright? Good. Let's look at another. Here, left and right. What is the spatial relationship we are looking at? Left and right. Let's look at the picture and learn for ourselves. Look what we have here. Right, left. Okay? What do you have it on the left side? You have a pant hanging. On the right side, you have a shirt hanging. The pant is on the left side. The shirt is hanging on the right side. Okay? Right, left. Show me your right hand. Right, left. Yes? Good. Now, let's look at another exercise. What, are we, what else are we talking about? In spatial relationship, we are talking about behind and front. What is behind? What is in front? Let's look at the picture and understand. Try and understand. Behind. What is behind the house? There is a tall tree. Behind the house. What is in front of the house? We have a hen in front of the house. What is in front? A hen is standing in front of the house. There is a tall tree behind the house. Behind, in front. Okay? Front of the house? A little brown hen. Behind? Some tall trees. Yes? Good. 